Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. And since the, in this pandemic situation, a number of things happen from home and most of you, maybe parents are giving their phone to their children to study or children might have their own phone and it is very natural to get texts and especially a text like this. Let me tell you which one. Dear customer, your Paytm KYC has been expired today. Please call customer care number immediately. Your Paytm account blocked within 24 hours. Thank you. And whose message is this? If you want to know, then stay tuned for the entire video. but this is just an awareness video and I feel I will do injustice if I just give you all the bookish knowledge possible but don't help you to you know grow in the real world and that's the reason I thought of making this video and it is nothing related to mathematics nor science I let me you know state this very clearly beforehand now my friend received this message and he sent that message to me in a conversation so I thought why not give a call to this number and see what they tell you okay and the conversation is right here listen to it लेकिन ये क्यों चाहिए सर इसी के थ्रू आपका के वाई सी अपडेट होगा हाँ क्विक सपोर्ट इंस्टॉल करना है एक मिनट है इंस्टॉल लेकिन मैंने केवल से किया तो मैं भैया इस बार में केवल से आपका अपडेट नहीं हुआ है सर आपको मेरा नाम क्या दिखा रहा है सिस्टम पे मुस्ताक रहमत हेलो हाँ बोलिए क्या बात क्या बोले सर या मेरा नाम क्या दिखा रहा है आपको आपका नाम सर लाइन पे क्या मैं चेक करके बता दे रहा हूँ हाँ ठीक है हेलो 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 जोवेल फ्रांडेस जोवेल फ्रांडेस क्या सर हेलो जोवेल फ्रांडेस हाँ 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 सही हाँ अभी इंस्टॉल कीजिए उसको ठीक है आप कहाँ से बात कर रहे हो मैं बांद्रा से बात कर रहा हूँ सर हाँ ओके इंस्टॉल कर दिया मैंने क्या इंस्टॉल कर दिया सर पेटीएम ना अरे सर मैंने पेटीएम इंस्टॉल करने के लिए बोला आपको आप गुस्सा कर रहे हैं सो द कॉन्वर्सेशन वेंट ऑन फ्रॉम गुड टू बेड एंड now why all these things happen firstly whenever you get any message okay remember to check who is the sender now it is possible that you know you get a message from a 10 digit mobile number then 
whatever the message might be if it's regarding all these updates and you know lottery and whatever it's a scam do not get involved in it okay first thing to note whether the message is from a 10 digit mobile number sometimes some scammers are still you know smarter and then you will get probably like pay tym or whatever a text like that so in this case it might be slightly difficult you know to use an app and try to find out from who is the sender so next step that you need to you know go and say for example you called up that number once you call they will probably tell you do a certain things now in case they are telling you to download any app based on a link that they are sending you or even for that matter go in play store and download an app then please do not do it and it is a control where uh, probably in this call when that person was telling me to download an app which is uh, quick support it is nothing but it is an app to control phone so right now I'm recording my other video with the phone that I use so I don't have another phone uh, what do I say okay this is one phone this is another phone okay so when you download an app they already have a quick support app on their on their phone or a computer and you have downloaded on this phone right now okay so what they will do is they will give you a code of connection so once you send they will send it to you over the phone you will type in that code and they already have that code with them so in this way your phone is now connected okay now since you have given the code to them and you are already talking on the phone you can't see what is happening but on the other hand they have another people or more people with them who can actually see what is happening on your phone okay based on this they will try to check what apps are there they can go into your gallery they can check your messages they can check anything and everything provided you are connected with one app that you had downloaded okay now in my case what was happening is since they didn't send me that message and that message was for my friend they do not have my contact number okay secondly that number from which I called I don't even have a paytm on that number so they didn't have any record with them okay so the moment they were telling me about downloading an app I just tried to act dumb I would say so that you know I can get a little more information and what they were telling me is to download that quick support app so based on that they would get control over my phone now next thing is it is very mandatory that you know whenever someone is giving you a call maybe saying that they are from a bank or some call center from internet information or customer care or whatever you need to ask them from where they are calling first second what information do they have of yours now it can be you know now when I asked that person my name since they did not have my contact number they didn't have information about me and that's the reason they took a lot of time I, I, I forwarded that time frame almost two three minutes to tell me my name because the scam was supposed to be for my friend but since I was the one who was calling they did not have any record of mine so that's the reason they took a lot of time so next thing first thing I told you 10 digit number uh, you know if it's a message don't bother if it is a call that you are getting ask them what is your name first on your system what they can see okay if they are able to verify the name very clearly right ask them maybe your address okay so what is the address that you can see on your system now if it's a bank definitely a bank has these information if they give you that information also if it is regarding you know some account related tell them tell me the last four digit of the account number and if they don't give you all these information and trust me if you ask these questions right and if they are not legitimate like you know or real people and they're just trying to scam you they will definitely cut the call and 
in case they are true and real genuine people then you can ask, based on how they answer you can really come to know whether it is a scam or a real call so keep these things in mind and this entire video was to update you with regards to all these things that happen and you might get just a message or a call on your phone and you will not even realize how money can be just you know robbed from your phone so probably what they would do is if i would download the quick support app they would take control of my phone and once they have control you know you, we human beings are lazy so whatever apps that we go and shop we usually have all the details already fed into this app and then all i have to do is probably uh, get one otp and then the purchase is done right uh, so they would go in the app do a purchase for you or you know try to transfer money and just take all your money because i i came across this uh a message that I have got, you know, one of my friends, friend, somewhere, and uh, they got scammed this way for using, uh, you know, this uh, Paytm KYC thing. So I just thought that let me also uh, keep you aware that these kind of things do happen. There are a number of ways people can scam you, and you know now whether when you get a call from an unknown person, uh, you know, to download. Do not give any text that you receive that information to someone else over the phone. They might say it is an OTP that is one time password can be rephrased as saying you as a coupon code. It can be told to you that you know some uh, promo code or some text and whatever information but it is only telling you that is one time password do not disclose any of these information to anyone over the phone do not download any apps or you know click on any unknown links for that matter sometimes you tend to get so many links on your phone saying that you know you have won a lottery please you know click on this link to verify you know your details don't do that you might get a call Saying that you know you have won so much, so much of money, whether it can be in WhatsApp, a text message, an email, anything, and asking you that you know to process this entire fund, you know you have to give a you know five thousand or six thousand as the tax for it, and some people, even smart people actually, people who have studied and learned enough, still fall into this because of greed that you know becoming rich very fast there's no way for that there's no free lunch and no free dinner as well so don't get into it and be safe because in this lockdown most of people are not allowed you know to move out and these scammers try to operate from home giving all these calls and trying to scam someone else and you know earn money but don't forget that karma does come back. They will get their share of whatever they do. But you be safe and you don't fall a prey of these kind of calls. That's the reason this video. Till then, if you like this work, then don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel. Till then, this is Joel saying bye, take care and God bless you.